But for now, let's talk about the five main parameters of compression, or what I like to call TACAR. That stands for threshold, knee, attack, ratio, and release. TACAR. It's a mnemonic device that I kind of came up with that helped me remember the five parameters. But it, what's nice about it is that it basically parallels the signal path that the audio material undergoes once it enters into a compression circuit. So let's examine each one of these parameters in detail in the most non-technical way I can conceive of. Let's talk about the threshold. I want you to think for a moment of a compressor as a big room with a front door and a back door. The threshold, our first parameter, is the front door. And once audio passes through this door, the compression circuit can begin to work. Now this door, this threshold, is completely adjustable. It can be as stiff as a Fort Knox vault door or as flimsy as your grandmother's back porch screen door that lets everything in. It depends on how it's set. What the threshold will do though is determine whether or not any signal can get into the compression circuit and how much. So if you have a very high threshold, that means that it's gonna be very hard for signal to get into the compression circuit, which equates to a very large dynamic range. If it's a very low threshold, that means that almost anything can enter into the compression circuit and it's gonna be affected. The next parameter, the knee, comes in two variations, hard and soft. It works in tandem with the threshold and it has the capability to allow the compressor to ease into action or to snap into action. For example, as the audio material gets closer and closer in volume to where the threshold is set, the knee can force the threshold to start working early to allow an easy entry into the compression circuit. If it's a, a very hard knee though, the compressor will snap into action once the audio material passes through the threshold setting. Let's look at the A in Takar, the third part of our five parameters. This third part is the attack, and the attack can range wildly. In fact, they're highly dependent upon whatever program material you're trying to compress. So you're gonna set your attack time differently if it's drums rather than an acoustic guitar or a highly saturated distorted guitar or a background vocal or your main vocal. All of your attack time should be based on whatever program material you're putting in and the speed at which they're coming into the compressor. Let's talk about the speed of the attack time. It can be measured in microseconds, even on analog compressors. For digital compressors, it can come down to the sample. So let me describe how the compressor actually reacts once audio gets into the compression circuit. You've already got your threshold, Audio has passed through the threshold, so the very next thing that the compression circuit is going to be looking for input from you, the end user for, is how quickly do I go and attack this material? Does it need to be like a Bruce Lee knockout punch, just super fast and lay them out on the floor? Or is it a loving caress and a nice takedown? <laughs> whatever it is, whatever you choose, you should make those decisions depending on what material is actually going into the compressor, right? The fourth part of our mnemonic device to car is the ratio. And the ratio is always going to be expressed as a mathematical ratio. The last R in to car is the release. And this is essentially telling the compressor when to get off this audio material that has entered in to the compression circuit. It's essentially acting as the gracious host that's showing people towards the exit. It can either be a really brutal bouncer shove out the back of the bar, or it can be a nice white glove service all the way to your limo. That release time actually matters, and here's why. As the compressor releases the information, it will naturally increase the gain back up, which means that the volume will go from being decreased to increased. It will be going from affected to unaffected. 